All right, guys, Captain Paul here, and I want to do a sign off of Little Palm Island. Uh, so, you know, it was just a wonderful experience out there, and uh, I just finished up uh, Hurricane Helena, uh, hit us, uh, and it hit us pretty hard last night. It actually moved uh, in, and it, when, it, when it hit, then it moved very, very quickly, uh, and you can actually tell the difference in the water and stuff like that last night. It was hard, it's hard, it's really hard to get uh, really good footage of, of the storm uh, out on the water because A, we only drive the boats uh, when we have to, like when we literally have paying clients uh, to, to get on the boat. And then when uh, we're taking employees on and off and we won't take just one employee, so we don't do just random runs. Uh, and there's a no camera policy when we have clients on the boat, so we don't make as many runs as, as we normally would. Uh, in those uh, storm-like conditions. Last night wasn't too bad. It was actually my uh, last night at Little Palm. I am gonna miss it because of all the experience I got and be able to drive a boat uh, in those type of conditions. Uh, we are paid uh, professional captains and we get, you know, it, it's our job to go out there in those conditions and these boats are set up. Like uh, last night, it was so awesome having um, the Woodson back up and running for my last few days. And, and, and having that boat ready for the storm was uh, you know, just a, a really great way to finish my career there. And I so much enjoyed driving it. It's a completely different boat than when, when, I, when I first got there because it had manual controls and it had old Yanmar engines in it. Now it has brand new, fresh 440 horsepower Yanmars for a total horsepower, uh, to, total horsepower of 880 horse. That boat we run it uh, from about six o'clock in the morning till about uh, 10, 11 o'clock last night, we ran till about 11.30. And when we're running that, we never really shut the engines off. And the amount of fuel we burn on that uh, boat is about 150 gallons a night of fuel uh, to run those 880 horse uh, Yanmars. And uh, during the storm, it, it gets really, really, um, uh, well, there was one particular time and I wish I had gotten footage of it when uh, we needed all of that horsepower to even turn the boat. And we got stuck in a vortex for a few minutes where the boat wouldn't even turn on us. Uh, and, and I just remember looking over at uh, Captain Tom saying, hey, what's going on here? And he goes, I'm trying to turn the boat, Paul, but I can't turn the boat. And uh, so, and it was, uh, when, when you're in weather like that, it is very important. I mean, you gotta have all that horsepower behind you and you gotta have a good running boat. And when we're out there in those conditions, our boats never really break down in the smooth water. That's when they break down because the tanks are shaking around, fuel's shaking around, and we'll usually get a dirty uh, fuel filter. And that's usually when the boat does break down, since so sometimes you have to bring them in on a single screw. But what you guys don't see behind the scenes is we have fuel docks and we have um, uh, different places. Um, and it's pretty safe, especially at our fuel dock, because when we pull the boat around to the fuel dock, you're in like a, a, a protected area and there's, there's one wind that can really affect us in there, but even that wind will just push you through the dock and all you need to do is just slide over and, you can t and, you, and you're on the dock. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to do this quick uh, update and, uh, and let you guys know that it is over. The, the, a, the Hurricane Helena has passed and my career at Little Palm is officially over. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate you guys watching the videos. I want to hear your comments down below. And even you guys that, uh, you know, like with the negative comments on, uh, you know, uh, driving the boat out in those conditions, it's, a, it's our job. That's what we get paid to do. And it is, you know, I'll, I'll be the first to admit there is a little bit of an adrenaline rush to it, um, especially in those type of conditions. And, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, it, it's good and sometimes it's bad. Uh, it, now that it, you know, I'm kind of numb to it now because I've been doing it for so long, you know, for the, for the last couple of years. And so they don't affect you as bad as they did in the beginning. Cause I just remember when I first got there, you know, I was like, yeah, you gotta be kidding me. We're not doing this. This is impossible, but the impossible is reality. And then you get past it and then you understand what's going on. You understand how to drive the boat. You understand all the docking situations that you got to get into. And it does become much, much easier, uh, especially as time goes on. Anyway, peace out. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Thank well, that was my last ride. I'm gonna enjoy it. It was a fun, I got to bring her back. Uh, 
We had Hurricane Helena. Uh, the winds have calmed down here. We're probably just normal every day. 20 knots of wind now. Five, and it was a great time, a great experience uh, being able to drive these boats in those kind of weather conditions. It just made, makes me a better captain. And I'm going to miss, you know, especially this boat right here. It was a really uh, pleasure to drive this boat right here. And it just got brand new 880 horsepower Yanmar's twin 440s.